11,000 fans, the biggest home crowd in conference history, had their best player, Tony Harris, playing with a soft cast on a newly broken hand, trailed 10-0 at the outset of the game, blew a chance to win at the end of regulation, and then did win in overtime to hand USL just their second loss in 16 games. Tim Floyd had to bring his club from a long way back after that early deficit in this one. Aaron Mitchell will steal and score as the Ragin' Cajuns came out on fire. Tony Harris didn't know if his injured hand would permit him to play tonight. Here was the answer. Didn't hurt him too much. Look at him fly through the air for two of his 34 on the night. Marty Fletcher's team eventually fell behind by five with 30 seconds left. But first, it was Mitchell on the jumper, and the score was 78-75. Then when UNO threw it away, Mitchell drills the three-pointer to tie it. UNO botched a chance to win in regulation, but they came back in OT. Harris takes it home. Tim Floyd had to sweat it out to the final seconds tonight. Sidney Grider could have won it from three-point range, but it's no good. UNO cops the rebound and the victory tonight in the Cajun Dome in OT. That score, UNO 89 and USL 87, that final bucket after the buzz. ...for USL, a record crowd of 10,802 in the Cajun Dome. The Ragin' Cajuns had a 14-1 record going into the game. Tony Harris playing despite a broken hand on broken bone in his left hand. Harris scores off the fast break. You want to up by three. Here the privateers miss, but Tank Collins hustles the miss and puts it back up. Privateers lead 72-69. Four minutes to play. You want to lead by three with 20 seconds left when Kevin Mitchell drills a three-pointer that tied the game at 78, forcing the overtime. You want to owe by three and OT, but that guy again, Mitchell, another three-pointer. It's tied at 83, ninth tie of the game. Now it's Harris on the drive. Tony pulls up and hits. 85, 83, you want to owe. Mitchell now passes to Brooks. And Brooks jams it home for a USL 87-86 lead. Tim Floyd paces the sidelines, but Tony Harris was the man this night. Harris hits two free throws, giving you want to owe an 88-87 lead. He had 34 points. USL inbounds, 10 seconds left. The shot's off the ball. And UNO upsets USL in overtime, 89-87. UNO is 8-8, 1-0 eight eight, in the conference. USL is 14-2. Meanwhile, at the barn, the Xavier Gold Rush. It depends, it depends on the betting, really. Player is hurt and won't play routine. The player, Tony Harris, was told by one doctor not to play because of a broken bone in his wrist. Another doctor said play. Tony did and led UNO to an 89-87 overtime win over USL in Lafayette. Harris, with his hand wrapped heavily in tape, scored 33 points, and in OT, eight of the team's 11 points. Today, back in the soft cast, Tony talked about the wrist and its hindrance. A lot, because right now it's, it's, it's pretty comfortable with inside the cast, but when I take it out the cast and just get a little regular tape job, it's too much. Ed Daniels reports. If you tuned in at this point... What a surprise to see Tony Harris, who went from out indefinitely to 33 points in a two-point overtime win at USL. Tony Harris. A couple of guys on the USL team was like, man, you know, what you doing out here on the floor? You know, I told him, well, I'm about to play. Harris broke a bone between his left thumb and wrist against Tulane Monday night. Doctor number one said no play. Harris was happier after seeking a second opinion, but his was the only one that counted. He's come back rejuvenated after a three-game suspension handed down by coach Tim Floyd. Floyd wasn't specific about the problem, but his team got the message. 20-point scorers are like the last man on the bench. Neither is allowed to rock the boat. A couple of guys on USL, you know, was, I don't know if they was doing intentionally, you know, he was hitting me on the wrist. You know, he was doing little karate chops on my wrist.